Hi everyone. Welcome to day one of the travel coach training. I'm just going to take a couple minutes to let a couple people join here. Give them some time. I'm just a few minutes early. So um, this is day one of the travel coach training. And today I'm going to be covering topics on like what a travel coach is, how to find your, ne your niche, what are things you can teach, um, creating your own travel coach framework, uh, getting into the right entrepreneur mindset, and much more. All right, so let's get started here. If you have, I'm gonna be having a Q&A at the end of this, so if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment box. Uh, my comments are kind of strange on my computer. I don't know if it's my connection, and they don't always appear. Up here. So if I don't see your comments or your questions and I don't answer you, feel free to uh, send me a message and I'm more than happy to answer any questions for you, okay? So let's get started here. My name is Sahara Rose DeVore. I am the founder of the Travel Coach Network and the owner of Sahara Rose Travels LLC. And for, oh, for those who have not, I have created a free 12 page travel coach workbook, which I have put in the link in the description of this video. So feel free to download that. It's going to be super helpful for you and guide you throughout today's training as well as day two, which is tomorrow's training also really gets you uh, your creativity going and your brainstorming and really helps you uh, jumpstart your journey as a travel coach. So feel free to jump, download that, okay? And let me know if you have any questions on it. Uh, so my name is Holly Rose Savor, uh, founder of the Travel Coach Networks. I started traveling right outside of the university. So I studied hospitality and tourism management um, more than 10 years ago. So back then, the travel industry was quite different from what it is now. So everything that I was learning in uh, my programs and my school, uh, nothing, none of the careers really resonated with what I was really interested in doing. I always also had uh, curiosity to go and see the world also, but... Um, I am an only child from a single mom, so we never really had access funds to be able to just go and travel. So I always had a mentality that travel is going to be expensive and that it's only kind of a one, one time a year type of thing. And uh, But I wanted to prove that wrong and I wanted to be able to live out my travel dreams. So uh, fast forward 10 years, I was able to do that. I traveled to over 80 countries by the time that I was 30. I, if you're interested in learning more about how I was able to fund my travels, I do have a video on my page, Sour Rose Travels, so feel free to check that out. Um, but I set out my journey because I didn't want to follow the norm of society and expectations on climbing the corporate ladder or what uh, you should do after you graduate or what you should do, uh, what family is expecting you to do with your life. I wanted to pave my own path and I wanted to have my own journey. And I was hoping that travel would be able to do that for me. So I packed a bag and I set off to see the world. And uh, I was looking for answers about uh, soul searching about myself and learning more about the my passions, my purpose, um, the world, what kind of career path I wanted and so much more. And not only did I get all those answers, but I got so much more out of traveling, not only through the conversations and other people that I met throughout my journey, but so much that I learned throughout my personal journey, the experiences I was having, and also the shift in the travel industry during those 10 years of traveling as well. All of that encompass is what inspired me to start my own business as a travel coach. So I always gave myself this cushion at uh, about the age of 30, I wanted to finally figure out what I wanted to do with my life as a career. And, but I always wanted to start my own business. I always had an entrepreneurial spirit, but I didn't know what I wanted to do. And also I had no idea how to start a business. I had no clue anything about starting an online business. So I remember being in the North of Spain uh, a little over a year ago and I started researching and studying anything I could about starting an online business or starting a business in general, anything I can get my eyes and my hands on. And I came across a lot of really inspirational people and I would listen to every uh, free webinar and training and podcast and article I can read and uh, find people who resonated with um, what I wanted to do or something similar I wanted to do. And I learned about their journey and how they did it and exact steps that they took. And I just uh, dove into this big world of just research and knowledge. And that's when I not only came across one of my personal mentors, which was one of the first people I started following on Instagram in regards to business. David Meltzer is the CEO of Sports One Marketing. He's super inspirational. And little did I know that six months later, he would be my personal mentor. And um, I 
just did everything that I could to learn what I can do about starting a business and figuring out exactly what it is I wanted to start. I learned about drop shipping and different things that people were doing. Um, I knew about the different careers as a traveler and stuff that I was learning about as digital nomads and freelancers and travel bloggers and writers and um, influencers and all these other things but none of those really resonated with my with my heart with didn't align with what I really wanted to do because I felt like all of my experiences and my journey traveling were really unique to me and I really wanted to use that to help people but I didn't know how uh, I started travel a travel blog year in the beginning of my journeys which transformed over throughout my journey as well based on what I was learning how I was transforming myself and my experiences and and just the industry shifts also but also I was tracking the analytics on it and seeing what kind of uh, information people were looking for and what feedback I got and my blog was one of the first things that inspired me to start my business and it also one of my most popular blog posts is what inspired me to write my travel mindset guide which is now on Amazon so I knew that I loved helping people and I knew I had a lot of information to give, but I also knew that there was a lot of questions I didn't have the answers to. For instance, I would have a lot of people reach out to me and ask um, not only questions, for instance, my niche as a traveler is a solo female backpack, budget backpacker. That's what I did, that's what I knew, that's who I am. So I can answer all those questions and I can write about all that, but I can, and I can answer general questions about travel as in regards to uh, safety and, and whatnot, but I would have people asking me, how do I, like moms who came to me or families came to me or um, someone who had a disability or someone who was of a certain race or color or religion would come to me and ask for specific travel questions or information. I didn't have that because I couldn't relate to that. That wasn't my story those weren't my experiences that's not what I personally had to overcome or deal with or think about in regards to traveling but I knew that throughout my journey I was meeting so many different travelers like yourself who had that uh, that knowledge and that those experiences in those certain fields that they did have those answers that those people could get. So I knew I wanted to figure out a way to connect those experienced travelers with the travel dreamers who had the questions. So the solutions and the questions and how I can bring those together. And that's what also inspired me to create a network of travel coaches who specialize in their own niches because everyone is everyone's story is unique and everyone's travel experiences are very unique to them and what people can teach is very unique to who they are and who their audience is also. Um, so throughout my journey of studying how to start a business, Facebook caught on to me. Facebook saw that I was learning more about, I was interested in learning more about business and whatnot and it kept throwing all these uh, coaching, different types of coaches at me and ads. And so I started learning, you know, about what they were doing about business coaches and life coaches and all these other uh, coaches. And I put two and two together and decided to put traveling and coaching together because I, that's what I do is travel. And that's what I want to do is helping people through coaching. So I put those together and became a travel coach. Then I hit another roadblock. I didn't know, I couldn't find anyone who was a travel coach who did something similar that I wanted to do or was doing anything similar to what I wanted to do. And even though I didn't exactly know what I wanted to do, I had a general idea, but there wasn't people, there wasn't a travel coach out there who I can go to and say, tell me, teach me how you're doing what you're doing. So I knew that if I had those questions and I knew if this was a career that I wanted to have, I knew that there must be a world of other people, other uh, travelers out there um, who would be interested in doing the same. And that's when I started to, I started my own business as a uh, travel coach and founded the Travel Coach Network. And one of the things that I do is this. I teach people how to take their travel expertise and experiences, <clears throat> knowledge, skills, and uh, stories, everything that's personal to them, and become a travel coach. So one of the things, or let's get started here. So what is a travel coach? A travel coach is, like I said, someone who is an experienced traveler, a passionate traveler. You don't have to travel to over 80 countries to be able to be a tra uh, travel coach. This is traveling within any sort of um, extension, you could be a domestic traveler, you can, anything, you just have to have a love for travel. And because that's why you get into a business anyways, right? That's why you have a job anyway, or a career is because you have some sort of passion for it. So you're a passionate traveler and you find your own niche, find your audience, find out what you can teach, and you grow a thriving travel coaching business. Um, and you choose your revenue streams, and I'll get into that in tomorrow's training. 
Um, but essentially, it's just a place of authenticity. Take your authentic travel experiences and expertise and th grow a, a thriving business based on your personal experiences and love as a traveler and what you know best and who you can help best. Uh, so those who are just joining me, I just want to say again, hi, my name is Hara Rose DeVore, the founder of the Travel Coach Network. Thank you so much for joining me. My internet's kind of weird, so I cannot see who exactly is joining me right now. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the box, uh, comment box, or send me a message, and I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. Um, I am looking for founding members of the Travel Coach Network. Uh, and to go through my travel coach program. So if you stay to the end of this, I'll give you a really exciting discount code, the lowest price ever of the program. And I would, um, thanks for giving me that little thumbs up. My Heather McKay, hi Heather. Um, sorry, like I said, my internet is really weird, so I can't see exactly who's all on here. Um, so let's continue on. So people always ask me, what's the difference between a travel coach and a travel agent? So even though they sound similar and they can align very similarly, there are a lot of differences. So for instance, I don't have the desire to book itinerary, itineraries and um, schedules or uh, do exact planning for people. I have that experience in the past, but I don't like doing it. I am someone who has dealt with really bad anxiety for a long time and that um, skill is not uh, to book itineraries has is, feels like too much pressure for me I, I don't enjoy it so as a travel coach that's not something I do granted as a travel coach you can decide exactly what you want to do uh, for your clients and how you want to do it but overall if travel coaches not do itineraries or bookings that's more so for travel agents who work one-on-one -on -one with hotels and different um, booking systems and stuff and whatnot but what you do do is help guide and empower people, your audience, to be able to design the lifestyle that they want, have the, uh, achieve their travel goals, and to incorporate more travel into the lifestyle by teaching them exactly what you did and know, and know as yourself as a traveler. So everything that you that's particular and special to you and your niche and your experience and your story is how and what you teach others um, in combination of the research that you do and how you um, really uh, fulfill and enrich what you teach and how you teach it. Um, and I'll get more into that also in tomorrow's training. But um, so yeah, basically it's you empower and teach people how to be able to accomplish their travel goals and you work on things like mindset and confidence boosting and any obstacles. A lot of people have different things that they worry about in regards to traveling, certain fears, uh, concerns, it could be health issues, it could be um, a disability, it could be anything that might seem like an obstacle or a hindrance and you help work them through this, you help uh, them create a, a good game plan on how to manage this, how to overcome it, how to deal with it throughout their travels so they can have these experiences that they're looking for. And also you work with someone and you do the inner work, you go deep. Uh, travel coaching is all about empowerment and human connection. You go deep and you figure out what is the individual looking for and why they're wanting to travel, what's causing this person to want to travel. Because when you think about it, think about for yourself, you didn't just travel just to travel, even though it sounds it's easy to say, you know, it sums it up, I love to travel, but really what drives you to travel? What drives other people to travel? And you have to do that inner work and, and figure that out, whether it's relationship problems at, at home or it's stress in the workplace or it's um, internal struggles or, or whatever it might be. Hi, Kate, thanks for joining, or whatever it might be, then uh, figure that out and help your clients work through that. Help them uh, uh, set up a good game plan so that they can manage that and have these experiences that they're looking for, what kind of experiences are they looking for, and how are you gonna help them do that? Um, so that's a little bit more about the niche and um, difference between a travel coach and a travel agent, but who is a travel coach, who is travel coaching for? Like who can become a travel coach? And not only someone who's a passionate traveler, but this is for someone who's actually serious about starting their own business, having their own career and paving a path in the travel industry that's really gonna make a difference. I never wanted to be just another travel blogger or writer or influencer or a travel agent and I don't, don't be offended when I say just, it just didn't resonate with me. I wanted, I didn't want to put a cap on my income level. I didn't want to get booked out with uh, X amount of um, projects that was, um, that um, paid me, sorry, uh, 10 to $12 an hour and get so busy with that, that I'm putting a cap on how much I can actually make. I wanted to, uh, 
high, uh, raise that ceiling or break that ceiling and not have a limit on how much money I could make and also how I was able to help people. I wanted, I didn't want any limitations on not only my income, but also on how I did things, how I ran my own business, how I work, what my schedule looked like, where I worked and whatnot. I wanted the freedom of traveling the world and taking my business with me and also having that spiritual and mental freedom of doing something that I actually feel passionate about and actually love doing based on my personal experiences and what I genuinely can help and teach others. So the travel coaches are just people who are really interested in taking charge and creating a business and thriving in a uh, untapped industry that is just going to be booming. Um, and why is it important is because if you look at the trends in the travel industry, yes, there's an increase in travel technology. There's more websites, apps, booking management systems. There's more technology on the rise and it's going to keep coming. But what the travel industry is realizing is that they're lacking the human element when it comes to um, travel to the hospitality industry. And that's why they're putting more emphasis on things like transformative travel, experiential travel, and hyper-personalization when it comes to, so maybe you're a travel agent or a travel advisor, and you've heard about this. Maybe you've gone to trainings about this. That's why this travel coach um, training and my program isn't only for travel coaches. This really helps elevate your marketing as a travel agent as well or any industry, any field that you do within the travel industry because it really gets you doing that inner work and that deep dive into um, how you, your individual story and how to use that and how you can target specific niche, a specific audience. Um, so the rise of the transformative travel industry as well as the experiential travel industry, you'll see that across all ads and marketing when it comes to hospitality and you'll see maybe booking.com's commercials and uh, TripAdvisor's commercial, it's about experience. But travel coaches, there's some, one thing about having a, a experience traveling and having a transformative experience and it's another to really know how to use that and what that means to you and how to apply that to your life to transform the way that you perceive um, the world yourself life in general how that can really impact the power of travel how it can impact you as a person and your life overall that's really what a transformation is and the more uh, as the technology and of the travel industry rises, the more you're going to, uh, the hospitality and travel big brands are going to realize that they are looking for people who specialize in helping, uh, whether it's business travelers, consumers in general, be able to treat them as individuals and figure out what exactly they're looking for and how tra travel can transform their life and what are the means to do that. And that's why something like a travel coach is going to be super, super helpful um, in many different aspects of the um, corporate world, travel industry, and whatnot. So I want to talk about some of the market sizes. So sometimes people can come to me, and uh, some clients come to me and say, I don't know what I can teach. I don't know. Um, I'm just like a so-and-so. I've only traveled to X amount of countries. I only know this and this. I'm only this person. But when you do the inner work and you figure out what exactly it is that is special to you and unique to you and what makes you who you are and your experience in travel, then... Um, then that's going to set you apart from everyone else. And there's so many different sectors within the travel uh, industry, different market sectors that are really booming. So I've read so many different articles on uh, from from Forbes and Business Insider and so many others that um, talk about these different sectors that are really on the rise, but they're untapped. They call them they're untapped in, uh, sectors in the travel industry that are waiting for people, specialists, experts to come in and say and take rein and say, I am the go-to person of this uh, niche and I'm going to help this specific uh, uh, niche um, obtain the transformative experiences that they're looking for. Um, so for instance, the LGBTQ uh, tourism industry is a $218 billion industry that doesn't have uh, travel coaches or experts in those fields that the companies are looking for. They're looking for whether they're retreats or um, you know, the core, uh, whatever it might be that has to do with that niche, are looking for these experts uh, to target the specific market. I just read an article from Forbes called, saying that the Muslim tourism industry is a $200 billion industry. There's the wellness tourism industry, is one of, which is one of the um, fastest growing, alongside the cruise industry is the number one fastest growing, but the wellness industry is really skyrocketing, and that's one of the industries that I specialize in. So in September, I'm going to be doing a guest speaking for the Global um, Wellness Workplace Summit. Um, so 
that's super exciting because I really believe in the power of uh, travel in regards to healing and wellness for the corporate world as well as for the everyday traveler. And the wellness tourism industry is a $919 billion industry projected by 2022. So they're not, and I'm not talking just about spas and um, stuff like that. I'm talking about the wellness and in regards to healing destinations that are really going to change a person physically, mentally, and spiritually, and these type of experiences that people are looking for. The family travel, there's 376 million trips um, taken by 2022 by families, so they're looking for experts who have uh, knowledge that um, on exactly that, how to travel as a family, how to have the certain maybe nomadic life as a family, or just how to travel in general as a family or whatnot. Um, I just spoke with um, someone today who actually is a buyer of one of, of my book and that I keep in touch with, and she's actually going on a journey across the country for the first time at the age of 50 with her dog, road tripping by herself, and she's never had anything like that. Um, but there's so many people out there of like over the age of 50 who are looking for people to talk to them who are travel experts on maybe you are over the age 50 or in retirement and you're a travel expert and they want to learn from you. There were so many questions I had and I only had a certain amount of questions or answers to give because that's not my niche or my specialty uh, or my expertise. Uh, women spend upwards of uh, $19 trillion a year on travel. So there's so many women out there looking to learn more about traveling, whether it's solo, what type of adventures they're looking to go on and whatnot. 25% uh, of people say that they would travel solo in last year in 2018 and that has only skyrocketed I'm one of them um, there's more and more travelers that I'm meeting around the world who are tra solo travelers and they're looking for a community of people or someone to guide them or help them as a mentor uh, inspiration talk about budget and whatnot um, over 19 million female solo travelers uh, are this year are in the market this year. There is 87% of travelers want to travel sustainably. So if you're someone who specializes in eco-friendly travel, uh, which is really on the rise, especially when it comes to the tourism industry in general, um, that's something that's really can use experts to tap into as a travel coach too. Because when I say as a travel coach, who better to know the power that travel can have and the experience or the type of transformation travel can have than people who, who experience it for themselves. So who better than those who deal with the problems, go along the journey and learn from, make mistakes and have that encompass well-balanced, um, well-rounded, sorry, uh, experience than a traveler themselves because you're in you're in it you're learning it you are experiencing it you're talking to other travelers and you're really getting a unique perspective on the industry or the niche of the market that you specialize in um, the student travel industry is a 320 billion dollar industry the event of travel is definitely something that a lot of big companies like TripAdvisor and stuff um, aim at, and that is a $1.3 million industry by 2023. And Yulia, hi, and my Hawaiian girl. And um, the vegans, there is more than uh, 550 to 950 million vegans worldwide, and the vegan tourism industry is massively growing. I just came back from a six month trip in South America where there were so many vegan travelers and restaurants and businesses that were um, booming that to suit that market. There's so many vegetarians and vegans around the world and that's an untapped niche within the travel industry where a lot of companies and retreats and stuff can really hone in with expert travel coaches and experts on uh, veganism when it comes to traveling. Uh, the African American tourism is a $63 billion industry. Um, and then over the age of 50, the travelers spend more than $120 billion a year on travel. Um, and then 70% of Americans plan to travel after retirement. So that's too, there's so many people out there in that age range, baby boomers who are looking for the type of an expert who can give them the direction and information and um inspiration, did I say that? Information and inspiration to be able to have a lifestyle that they're wanting because they weren't once before a traveler. They don't have that expertise like you do and they want that guidance and the support. And also a lot of times um, those certain niches will have a larger budget. So it depends on what services and products you provide it might fit your niche a lot more too. Um, so um, some other uh, industries that are like the well, uh, mental health industry as well as the 
travelers who travel, people who travel with um, certain types of allergies and food allergies, and also with a disability too. These are all untapped markets in within the travel industry that a lot of associations and a lot of companies are really starting just to tap into to, um, to unveil, and they're really looking for a lot of experts in them to really give them a new perspective um, on the travel industry and how they can reach their consumers and what they're looking for, um, what their consumers are looking for. And when fi figuring out your niche and figuring out what you can teach, uh, you want to think about why do you travel? Uh, what has travel done for you? What kind of transformation has it provided for your life? Uh, what kind of skills have you mastered when it comes to traveling? And again, for those who just uh, joined me uh, in the link of the description of this video, feel free to download the free 12-page travel coach workbook that I provided. It was also in the email I sent out to you. Guys, if you aren't on my email list, message me. I can get you on there. Um, but be, free, be sure to download the free workbook because it guides you through today's training and tomorrow's training, but it also takes you through all of uh, everything that I'm talking about and a lot more and gets you, um, you're really brainstorming and sparks your creativity and really gets your wheels turning on uh, what your niche can be and how to figure out uh, what you can do, what impact you can make on the travel industry, whether you're just, you want to be, uh, continue to be a blogger, a, um, a travel agent and enhance your marketing or just or whatever it might be in, in regards to traveling. And of course, uh, if you wanna become a travel coach to take you through that process. Um, and what kind of problems have you faced? What kind of uh, obstacles have you overcome? Uh, what kind of um, voids have you realized when you talk to other people in regards to traveling? What were the commonalities? Were there similar problems people were having? And that means that there's voids. There's room for solutions out there. Have you come up with a solution yourself on something that you couldn't find yourself, which is essentially what I did with my entire business? Um, so get your wheels turning and thinking about what it is that you specialize in that you know and who you can help and how you can help them uh, based on your personal experience and your story. Tap into your story, which we'll go into tomorrow. Uh, tap into your personal story and uh, figure out what makes you different, what makes you unique. Hi, Heather. Um, what sets you apart? What do people come to you uh, specifically for? Um, what what do they come to you for but you can't have you don't have answers for what can you do more research on what interests you what kind of, what about travel do you love to continue to talk about um, what makes you want to go and see the world what makes you want to help people in regards to traveling what is it about travel and what do you know about travel that needs to be shared and out there um, and create a solution for um, and then create your own framework. So within my travel coach program, I give um, my students, my exact travel coach um, approach framework that I use to um, be in the works right now with different uh, corporate wellness programs and travel uh, advisor trainings, as well as business travel uh, programs. So that's my personal uh, travel coach approach framework. But in my program, I teach and help you go create your own travel coach framework and what that means. So what exact steps do, does your clients need to take? What solution are you providing? And how? what does the exact process look like to to take someone or a entity from this to have these results. So that's what a, a travel coach framework is. And again, in my uh, travel coach program, if you are uh, a student of it, you get my exact framework and I work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you create your own. Because if you're going to have a, a bunch of ideas, you're going to have to create a framework or something that makes sense out of it. Makes uh, You want to give structure to your ideas so that you uh, have something to pitch, something to sell, something to offer, and a concise solution to something so that, and this just goes for many aspects, uh, different types of businesses as well, like what product, not necessarily even a product, but a framework, an overall ideology of how uh, your system works. And then uh, what steps to take, what transformation they're going to get, what uh, think about what questions needed to be asked in order for your clients to achieve the uh, benefits or transformation that they're looking for, um, or the results or outcome they're looking for, how are you going to take them from point A to point B. Um, you focus a lot on the mindset. That's why I wrote when I wrote my book. It is not just a travel guide, but it's a traveling mindset guide. And because the uh, mindset mentality is... Uh, key when it comes to traveling. People often forget about the struggles that we have internally that can hinder a lot of people from wanting to travel in general or, or even achieving the type of experiences and transformations uh, and benefits that they hope to get when, it, uh, when they're traveling. 
Um, you talk about, of course, budgeting. If that is something you want to work with with your clients, budget could be one of them. If you work with a, um, a niche that budget is not a problem, like maybe you are in the luxury um, industry or cruise industry or whatever it might be, maybe you're in the retirement industry as a travel coach and budget is not an option, it's up to you what you teach as a travel coach. When you teach, when you become a travel coach, everything is completely up to you. Everything is based on empowerment and authenticity. It stems from your personal experiences and expertise and your story as a traveler, and then you build an authentic uh, business based on what you, who you want to help, how you want to help them, and uh, and yeah, it's completely customizable up to you. I am just giving you the framework and the structure to be able to go from complete scratch to growing your own travel coaching business. And these are some of the steps in between. Um, getting into the entrepreneur mindset, that is huge. So it's one thing to want to become a business owner or entrepreneur, and it's another thing to take action to be able to become one. So I meet a lot of people and a lot come, I have a lot of clients come to me and say, um, or even my mentorees come to me and say, I want to start a business, but I don't know when the right time is, or do I'm waiting for the perfect time. Guys, there's no perfect time to start a business. Right now is the perfect time. If I waited until I had the exact idea for my business and had the exact clarity for my business, I would still a year later be in the same phase as I was when I first began. You have to take action and take the steps necessary to be able to um, get the ball rolling and, and be open to ideas and evolution of your thoughts and, um, and just just like you evolve as, as a traveler, you have to evolve as an entrepreneur and and just take the steps necessary. You have to be ready to invest your time and energy and efforts and money, of course, into your dream career, uh, whether that's travel coaching or whatever it might be. A lot of times people put up roadblocks and say, I don't want to work that much or I don't want to spend that much money. But you have to figure out what exactly your goals are and what exactly you want out of your career and out of your life and what kind of lifestyle you have. And you have to take that leap and take that chance to make that happen. Um, and then also doing your research. That's something I can't stress more, uh, more that is to do your research you might know you might think that because this is my niche and this is what I know and these are my experiences there's so much more out there you as the saying goes you don't know what you don't know so do your research and read get your hands on any um, webinar or um, article or favorite publication of yours and follow it and learn about the travel industry learn about these different niches and sectors and markets and trends and changes and problems that exist and so much so you can help create the best solution that you can as a travel coach and provide the best service and product to whoever your audience is, whether that's a bigger company, a wellness retreat, individual clients, whatever it might be. Uh, shifts in the travel industry. We mentioned a little bit about the transformative travel and experiential travel, uh, but also the um, the fact that people want to be more involved in their traveling. That's something that's really shifting in the travel. Uh, you'll notice a lot of travel Agents go from travel agents to travel advisors or travel designers, um, and there's a couple other names for them, because the industry is really focusing on really getting deep and personalizing um, a trip and also realizing people want to be involved in their journey. They don't want to hand everything over to someone and say, do this for me, send me on this trip. I mean, some people do, of course, but the industry is shifting because they're noticing that these there's changes and they're at a stagnant spot when it comes to traveling um, uh, to the traveling industry and reaching consumers because the mentality of travel has changed has changed has changed people want to travel longer further more often they want to add more travel into their everyday life maybe into their work life or their family life or whatever it might be they want to go on a trip more than just once a year they want to go on a trip and not break bake their break their bank. There's so many other things that are changing within the travel industry that these big travel brand, brands, like the travel agent industry, are realizing. 
Uh, people want more freedom-based lifestyles. A lot of companies are adding a lot more, uh, are enhancing their travel policies, which is something I work on as one of my projects for the Travel Coach uh, Network, is, and it talks with a lot of companies on, is to really enhance travel um, corporate wellness programs and update travel pro policies, because a lot of times people are not taking their vacation days, and they're not therefore getting the transformative experience and the wellness benefits that travel can provide for them. So you guys, the point that the reason I'm telling you is this because I want you to take a minute and think about use your workbook workbook and think about what it is about travel that you can teach that's unique to you and what impact and change you want to make in the industry what kind of career that you want to have how do you want to help people who do you want to help these are all things to think about because the travel industry is big it's yes it can be intimidating because there's so many big brands and companies out there but these brands and companies are looking for experts just like yourself who are who know who specialize in a specific niche and and have unique stories that's what it is they want to someone who has a story that is going to inspire and teach and improve what they already do and and how they already market to their consumers um and then tap into your story is like i mentioned before um <clears throat> creating your story is what you're going to lead with as a traveler you are a storyteller whether you realize it or not when you go home to your family members or your friends and you tell them what happens, you are telling a story. When you're writing a blog or you're um, creating a post, you are telling a story. And uh, that's something that is really going to help you create your brand and your set of foundation for what you do as a travel coach. Tap into your story. Tell, write, sit down and write down your story, what it is from the moment you knew you wanted to travel to where you are now, the highs, the lows, the ups and downs, the struggles, the uh, revelations that you had, everything. What is your personal story and as a traveler that got you to watching this video here, now, being here with me and wanting to learn more about travel coaching? What took you on that journey? And lead with your story because that's ultimately your story is what's going to attract the right clients to you. It's going to get you the right attention on whether it's social media, speaking opportunities, whatever it might be. What is your story? And the guidebook will help you um, think about that and work through that. But that's also something I go in depth with in my program. Um, so again, for those who were not here in the beginning of the video, um, I am launching my travel coach program, which is a full, it's yours to keep for a lifetime, a full program that teaches you how to go from complete scratch to becoming a travel coach and everything in between. The exact steps that I took from being just a traveler and just a blogger for fun, didn't get paid to blog, to starting my own business and becoming a travel coach and really having a lot of great opportunities come my way and working with a lot of great partners and helping so many people, being a published author, being in um, online publications like um, Thrive Global and Business Insider and been on so many podcasts, which is super, super fun. There's um, This program is helps you go from not just becoming a travel coach, but it helps you with the logistics of starting a business too, because there were so many questions I had in regards in the beginning in regards to starting a business how to create a website do I need a website what platforms to show up on how do I show up online what do I talk about online how do I tell my story um, so many different things um, so I want to offer you guys a coupon code or a discount code travel 200 uh, the link if you click in the description of this video it says the travel coach program it tells you the curriculum of my program and tells you more about it and message me if you have any questions but if you decide to enroll I am, I am looking for 30 founding members the difference between the founding members and everyone who joins afterwards is not only do you get the $200 off it's the program's $9.97 $200 off if you pay in full for $7.97, you get a full two hour intensive with me, uh, which usually those who do not become founding members only get throughout their entire lifetime of my program, get one, um, one hour private uh, coaching session with me. But founding members, not only do you get a two hour intensive with me where we go in, in depth and I help you pretty much hold your hand through this process, but also you have full uh, lifetime access to me. And that's via message, email, however it is, whenever you want to set up a coaching call or whatnot. So not only do you get your intensive, but you also get your coaching calls too. Um, and then the travel code or the travel 200 code 
there's also a four monthly payments. If you choose to do that, that brings your first month down to just $50. And again, the program's yours to keep forever. You get every update in addition to it. Um, so that's a, I'm looking for 30 founding members in the Travel Coach Network that I can help, um, that can join my community and I can help you one-on-one -on -one and you become the expert in your field. I work intensively with you and takes you on the journey to grow a thriving market, a uh, thriving business within your specific market and how we can get you the opportunities and the uh, results that you're looking for as a, uh, ju not just a traveler, but also as a entrepreneur. Um, so in tomorrow's training, I want to, I be, I want you to join me in day two. I'm going to be talking about things like how to do, or what kind of inner work to be doing, setting a solid foundation for your business, um, how to find your ideal audience, like how do you mark, or how to target them, how to market to them, how to draw them to you, uh, the logistics of starting an online business, how to cut costs and set priorities, uh, how to block out all the noise when it comes to starting an online business, uh, becoming a coach. You're going to know there's so much out there. It's so overwhelming. You don't know what to pay attention to. You don't know what to buy into. You don't know what to do. This program, the Travel Coach program, I promise you, is every single thing that I did from day one that I did trial and error for worked with mentors, worked with personal coaches on, collected the best information, not only to become a travel coach, but to start your own online business. And I give you everything from the exact like websites that I use or links that I use to be able to create landing pages and funnels and email lists, what that all means, um, and to make it all make sense for you. Because I know if I struggled throughout the beginning of the process, I know others are, and I want to provide ease to my clients in my program through that. Um, so again, you can enroll or learn more about the Travel Coach program in the link in the um, description of this video or send me a message. If you are still not really sure, send me a message. Let's talk about it. We can set up a call um, and I can help you brainstorm, see if it is something for you. But be sure to put in the discount code TRAVEL200 to get $200 off. It is the lowest that this program is ever going to be. It's actually going up to over $1,400 this year. So not only are you not having to pay $9.97 for it, um, but you get $200 off for it, and you get full access to me. Um, and I'll take you along on this really fun journey with me. And let's build a community of travel coaches together. Um, so I will see you tomorrow at the same time, 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, on this page is how Rose travels and for day two of my travel coach training. I will see you guys all there. Uh, let's see what um, Heather said. I love all this. Thanks. I coach on how to use points and miles for travel and how I work remotely around the world. Yes, that's awesome. There's so many. I actually got on a call with um, a guy who specialized in something very similar um, on points and miles. That's something I don't talk about because I don't have experience with that. Yes, I have a credit card that I use to get miles, but there's so many people like yourself, Heather, who are experts in this. And there's so many people who want to learn what you do. I actually had a friend that I stayed with in Taiwan who got so much publicity because he was able to travel the world, travel to like nine countries for $300 in first class or something. And it really skyrocketed his business. And there's just so much more potential out there for what you can do in uh, something like the niche of points and miles. So yes, great, Heather. Thank you so much for sharing. I want to hear from other people what you specialize in, what you know best when it comes to traveling. Message me. Let's chat. And again, I will see you guys tomorrow on day two of the Travel Coach Training. Bye, everyone.